Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very pleased to be here. Um, from yesterday to today, you, uh, uh, the conference talking about the mainly development and economic uh, institutional reforms. So let me uh, introduce you a little bit different on the uh, uh, institutional, institutional framework on uh, environment protection in Vietnam and some recent ref uh, reforms and, uh, and development. So <clears throat> the outline of my presentation is uh, firstly to give you some uh, Vietnam environment and context now, and then uh, provide you a review on the policy and uh, institutional arrangement on environment protection in Vietnam, and some recent uh, developments and uh, lessons learned. About the Vietnam context, you know that uh, we have achieved uh, quite a remarkable um, uh, economic growth, uh, uh, but it uh, has uh, um, slowed down uh, from 2008 until now. And with the economic growth, our poverty reduction have achieved also a remarkable success, which is uh, Vietnam is one of uh, example in uh, of the uh, UN in in this field. Uh, the reason for that is uh, we have pushed up the industrialization process of the country, you've seen here, yeah, the, uh, in terms of the industrial production value and the number of the labor in the industrial sector. And also the share of the industry sector of the GDP is increase, increasing, while the agriculture is decreasing. But uh, we have to emphasize that the economic growth of Vietnam is brown with the environment and degradation. Uh, uh, the, the picture here shows you the air pollution, the total solid uh, particulate uh, concentration in big cities in Vietnam uh, continuously uh, exceeded the standard. You see the, the red line and the blue line. Um, most uh, uh, monitoring data in the Hanoi, uh, Hue, Da Nang, uh, Ho Chi Minh City, and many others exceed the standards. And also the surface water is polluted. Uh, he, uh, the, the data here show for the BOD5 in the Saigon River in the period of uh, 2017, uh, 2011. It's uh, exceeded the standard. And also uh, the biodiversity decline is another issue. Uh, why we have uh, uh, degradation in terms of uh, ecosystem, especially here is the mangrove uh, area, uh, the decline in the number of the wild animal, uh, it is increasing in the red buck, and the uh, also uh, alliance plants and animals in the country. Uh, another very, very uh, pressing issue for Vietnam also is the climate change impact. Uh, Vietnam has been uh, forecasted to be uh, one of the most uh, seriously affected countries by climate change in the world. And the Mekong River Delta is one of the three most uh, seriously affected um, uh, Delta in the world together with the Nile and the Guang River Delta. Uh, in the past seven, uh, past uh, 50 years, the temperature of Vietnam has raised, raised uh, 0 0.5 to 0 0.7, and the sea level rise, another issue of Vietnam, is, has risen about 20 centimeters. And it is forecasted that to, by the end of this century, uh, the temperature would increase by 2 to 3 uh, centigrade, and sea level rise would raise uh, 1 meter. And if that happened, you will see uh, that uh, the Mekong River will be submerged uh, under the sea uh, water. So <coughs> about the institutional framework on environmental protection in Vietnam, firstly about the uh, 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 legislation, policy and legislation. In Vietnam we have, um, in terms of environmental uh, protection law, we have the law on environmental protection. Uh, in adopted in 1993, firstly, and then revised it in uh, 2005, and now just uh, have been uh, amended in uh, uh, just last week, adopted by the National Assembly. 
we have biodiversity law in 2008. We have law on environmental protection tax in 2010. And beside that, uh, we have uh, uh, related sector laws, including like uh, land use law, uh, water resource law, law on forest development and protection, law on fisheries, law on uh, saving and efficient use of uh, energy, and etc. About the environment protection policy, we can divide it into four groups. Uh, first one is the pollution uh, prevention con and control. Second one is uh, rehabilitation of uh, degraded area and improvement of environment and quality. The third one is the uh, sustainable use of natural resources and uh, biodiversity uh, conservation. And the fourth one is responding the policy on uh, responding to climate change. So I'll give you a uh, uh, in a little bit of detail of these four groups, so you can have uh, imagine uh, on how is our policies. First, on uh, pollution prevention and control, uh, we uh, do the uh, uh, strategic environmental uh, uh, assessment, or we call SCA, and the environmental impact assessment to prevent the future uh, 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 impact, environmental pollution impact. We also require uh, production, trade, and services to control environmental protection in their activities, and also to promote uh, cleaner production, waste audits, and uh, applying the ISO 14000. And uh, we do promote the uh, inter integrated waste management with the three R concept. Uh, reduce, reuse, and recycle uh, to control the uh, illegal waste imports and also importing of outdated technology and equipment uh, and to handle completely with seriously polluting establishment we go with uh, craft villages and the environmental hotspots. In Vietnam, we have around 1,400 uh, craft villages which are so uh, seriously uh, polluting sources. A second group is rehabilitation of the degraded area and improvement of uh, environment quality. We are now uh, conducting treatment of uh, contaminated sites by Asian oxygen, the oxygen uh, in Da Nang, uh, Bien Dinh and Bien Hoa. These sites are polluted lab by the war, the American war. We also uh, um, conducting treatment of canal lakes and other field uh, sites contaminated by wastewater in urban area. And we are also improving the air, trying to improve the air quality in urban areas by promoting public transportation, application of tighter vacant standards and uses of cleaner fuel. Uh, we are also uh, improving the water supply in the uh, urban and uh, rural area. And uh, we uh, also are rehabilitating and uh, uh, degraded natural ecosystem, especially in the coastal uh, mangrove forests. Uh, about the uh, promote of uh, sustainable use of uh, natural resources and conservation of biodiversity, we are uh, uh, trying to protect the land uh, environment from pollution, infertility, and desertification, and to improve the water resources use, the efficiency of water resources use, and reducing uh, the water scarcity within reason and between seasons. Uh, we try to increase uh, our forest cover by uh, planting the forest and also to protect the natural forest. Uh, about the, bio, the biodiversity conservation, we uh, develop a system of uh, natural protected areas and to maintain these uh, protected areas. And uh, we develop and implement programs on wild species conservation, uh, control of uh, invasive alliance, and uh, uh, conservation of gene, and uh, control the risk posed by the genetically modified organism. 
Uh, here, as the, you can see, the, uh, uh, the changing of the forest cover in Vietnam from uh, uh, 1943 until to, uh, 2012. And about the uh, policy on strengthening and capacity in response to climate change, our um, priorities is adaptation because uh, the emission of Vietnam is uh, not high as compared with other countries. Uh, we try to strengthen our capacity on monitoring, forecasting, and warning on climate change and disaster. Uh, we are developing the infrastructure like uh, sea dice and uh, dams. Uh, for prevention and restraint of impact by sea level rise of, uh, and disaster. And also we uh, have a strategy on the mitigation of the damage from natural disaster. About mitigation, we promote uh, energy efficiencies, uh, promote the development of renewable energy, and also, uh, as I said just before, is uh, uh, increasing the ZSD sinks by uh, through the, uh, forest uh, plantation. We are also carrying out the uh, GHG inventories uh, to uh, report to the uh, UNFCCC and also implementing uh, uh, national appropriate mitigation actions. Uh, those are the four uh, group of policies uh, in, on environmental protection in Vietnam. And let me share with you some uh, institutional, uh, institutional arrangement on environmental protection. Uh, vertically, uh, our administration divided in, in, in four levels, as national, a provincial, and district, and a communal level. And at the national level, the MONRE, the Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment, is the uh, responsible ministry for environmental protection. Uh, besides, it covers also uh, other natural resources, uh, subsector like land use, water resource, geology, marine sea and island, and etc. Uh, under MONRE, we have the Vietnam Environment Administration, or VA, responsible for the environment and, uh, management. At the, provincial, at the provincial level, we have uh, the Department on Natural Resources and Environment, we call DONRE under which we have, we have also the Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA, uh, responsible for environmental protection within the province. In Vietnam, we have 63 uh, provinces. And at District 7, we have a division on the natural resource environment. And at the common level, we have usually have the environment officer. Uh, horizontally, uh, in Vietnam, um, the environment protection is decentralized um, to other ministry also. Uh, so here you can see that uh, Monre is focal point for environmental protection, but uh, in other ministry like uh, Ministry in Industry and Trade, Ministry of Construction, Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, they have a department on the responsible for environmental protection. And uh, uh, maybe uh, different from other countries, we have uh, environmental police. It's, it's under Ministry of uh, Police in Vietnam. So that's, those are the uh, <coughs> institutional framework uh, on environmental protection with Vietnam. Now I would like to share with you uh, some uh, recent uh, reforms in the field of environmental protection in Vietnam. Firstly, it is the uh, National Strategy on Green Growth. You see in the first part of the presentation that uh, the economic growth in Vietnam is brown. So the government adopts uh, this national strategy for green growth uh, in 2012. It's trying to change, to shift the uh, brown model of growth into the green. And the objective is the green growth uh, as the means to achieve the low carbon and uh, enrich uh, national capital to become a uh, principal direction of sustainable economic development in Vietnam. And the key area the, uh, of the strategy is uh, three areas. That is, firstly, is reducing the greenhouse gas emission intensities. Uh, uh, 
and secondly is greening production, and thirdly is greening lifestyle and uh, consumption. Uh, second, uh, uh, second uh, reform I would like to share with you is this adopted uh, last week in the law on environmental protection is the environmental planning. Um, environmental planning is this law refers to the ecological and functional zoning and also um, uh, the plan on the environmental uh, infrastructure for environmental protection. Uh, ecological and functional zoning here is to divide uh, 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 the country into different ecological zones for dif different development or conservation purpose. And this division, division is based on the ecological characteristics, characteristics uh, resource potential, and adaptation capacity to climate change of the region. The third one is the realization of extended producer responsibilities. Uh, extended producer responsibility is the tool in the pollution control that requires uh, producer and importer of certain products uh, have the responsibility to collect, to take back uh, and treat in an environmentally uh, friendly manner this, their discarded products. And this tool has been applied in, in, in many other countries, especially in uh, developed countries, but Vietnam, uh, it has been introduced in the 2005, but now is realized by the uh, uh, Prime Minister decision. And the last reform I would like to share here is the payment for forest environment services. Maybe Vietnam is the first country in the Asia to apply this, uh, this tool. It uh, has been piloted uh, two years in 2008-2009, and then uh, applied nationwide from 2010 by a decree of the government. The mechanism of this tool is that the uh, company and uh, the hydropower companies, water supply company, and tourism uh, company in uh, downstream of a uh, river uh, pay uh, to the forest uh, household that keep the forest, protect the forest in upstream of the river to protect the forest so that in, uh, keep the water and keep the dam not uh, to avoid the sediment. So uh, the payer here is a hydropower plant, water supply company, tourism companies, and the payee is, is a forest protection house on upstream communities and upstream area. The rate here is 20 uh, Vietnam dong per uh, kilowatt hour of uh, hydro, uh, of hydro uh, electricities. Uh, 40 Vietnam dong per uh, cubic meter of water supplies, and 1 to 2 percent of gross revenue of ecotourism companies. The revenues from 2019 uh, last year, 2013, is around uh, 140 million of US dollars, and uh, mainly come from the hydropower plants. However, uh, there are still some difficulties in uh, uh, disbursement of this uh, collected revenue, uh, meaning that only 45% uh, of this collected revenue have been paid to the household. It is due to difficulties in um, inventory of the forest and uh, the type of forest, etc. So, <coughs> some lessons learned uh, from this. Uh, uh, environment protection in Vietnam in some reform, recent reform is that um, we are witnessing that green growth, the green economy can become a new growth paradigm and recommended, uh, recommended by the UN uh, for the develop and developing country like uh, Vietnam uh, with the concept uh, with tracing as to enrichment of natural capital uh, low carbon uh, development and uh, uh, low uh, zero waste uh, developments. And uh, we see that institutional reform play an important role to uh, create uh, enabling conditions for uh, promoting the green growth. 
and uh, re participation of communities and business sector are very, very important in implementation of this institution reform and government does uh, play a triggering role. And in some cases, like uh, in case of the payment for forest environment services, this, uh, to ensure folks that this policy should better be piloted in a small area before uh, applied nationwide. Enforcement is key to uh, bring into the success and uh, uh, also a lesson learned from other countries are very, very important and uh, international support play a collective role for successful implementation such a case of uh, payment for environmental services. So uh, thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>